Here's something that you need to watch out for on the SAT math section. If you take a look at question 12, it says, which of the following could be an equation of the graph shown in the XY plane above? Now, where people are going to end up getting this question wrong is they're not going to realize the increments that the x-axis is increasing by are different than the increments that the y-axis is increasing by. We see on our y-axis, we're going up by 1. So we go from 1 to 2 to 3, and then we see our y-intercept is going to be at 4. So just from that, we can get rid of a and d. But if we take a look at our x-axis, we see we're going up by 2s. So where people would get this wrong is they'd find their slope, but they would fail to recognize that the increments on the y-axis are different than those on the x-axis, and they would end up answering with A because they would think it's negative two-thirds as your slope, but it's not. Because we can see that if we go down by four from our y-intercept down to zero, we see that we go over by 12. So we're going down four and over 12. So we see our slopes can be negative four over 12, which we know is the same as negative one-third. So then, since we also know that our y-intercept is going to be a positive 4, we see our answer is going to be C.